How's it going, peoples, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're gonna to be putting a velocity stack on this short ram intake. I'm gonna take out the filter and replace it with one of these. Velocity stack. Get like about <clears throat> one to two wheel horsepower, which is not bad at all for a little upgrade. For one to two wheel horsepower? Anyway, that's what I've heard. Anyways, more uh, direct contact with the air instead of a filter, which is a little bit, a little bit restrictive. So we're gonna go ahead and replace, take out the filter, and put a velocity stack on this damn thing. And VTEC should be a little bit louder too. And <clears throat> also, if you want to put a filter, you actually can. You get a six inch, six or seven inch uh, air filter, a K9 air, air filter. With You could actually use the velocity stack and put the filter over it. So you get a, a velocity stack intake. All you got to do is buy the uh, velocity stack cone, which you can get for like 20 to 40 bucks, depending where you get it or what website you order it from. Usually it comes with the couplers and the uh, <clears throat> the fittings to tie this thing down. So yeah, get get yourself one of these. You get like one to two wheel horsepower if you run it open direct air contact, which is not bad at all for a little twenty dollar upgrade or thirty forty depends where you buy the velocity stack cone from aluminum cone. So. It's not a bad upgrade, so we're gonna go ahead and install that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tie this down. Simple, obviously, you know that. So we tie it down, give it a nice little tighten. And more or less. And it's super tight. Shouldn't go anywhere. We'll give it a little tie down. Loose tie. not bad I mean for like depends where you get it like I said depends where you get it from it's not a bad upgrade for one two depends on the motor depends on the car you get about one to two wheel horsepower gain so because it's direct air contact there's no restriction so and the intakes louder VTEC louder but you always get a nice VTEC crossover too which is not bad don't mind the dogs they could be a little loud sometimes, but, yeah. So, we'll be going from a K&N air filter. I'm going to clean this up, give it a nice little wash. These are washable. That's one of the good things about K&N air filters. You can actually wash them. Depends on which one, I think, but these are washable. K&N air filters, so I'm going to give this a nice cleanup, a nice wash whenever i want to install this back on but most likely not because i'm going to use the velocity stack which is a better upgrade because you could just put a you could just buy like the six inch or the seven inch uh filter and you could put it overlap it to the velocity stack Vol velocity stack gives it a nice uh sound so just up a little bit And just simply install the damn thing. Pretty much. Simple. 
Beautiful. Simple and stall. Let's see how the VTAC crossover is too. Which is gonna be great. I'm pretty sure it is. Look at it looks way better in my opinion. Way better. Velocity stack is cute. Give a little tight out. Well, you know what? To give it a nice, better look, do it underneath. better look at this thing underneath. More like that. There we go. A better look. That's not going anywhere. So, that's tight. That's tight. And voila, boom. We got a velocity stack intake. Check it out. Now that's going to scream. VTEC is going to scream with this thing. That's going to be nice. For... For a $20 or $30 upgrade for a gain of one to two wheel horsepower, that's not bad for an upgrade. Best $20, $30 mod you can do to your B Series motor with the option of buying a KN uh, air filter with a much wider uh, inlet diameter. Either you get the six inch, I don't know if this is six inch or seven inch. You get the seven inch or six inch diameter. Then you could just put it over if you feel like putting a filter over it. Or you get one of these, which is what I'm going to do. You get a water repellent. A water repellent uh whatever this is called, a filter I guess. And you just put it over the velocity stack and it won't eat up rocks or debris or dirt or whatever this actually repels it and water won't be able to go in either it's a water repellent uh, the company that makes these uh, if I'm not mistaken is filterware so if you guys are interested in covering your intakes even with the filters on I recommend this company. They're made in USA. It's good quality. So if you're interested in getting a, <clears throat> a filter, water repellent a filter for your intake cones, I recommend Filterwares. <clears throat> and they're made in USA. It's good stuff, good quality. So if you want good stuff, Filterwares. 
You can cover your intakes and filters and velocity stack. And well, a boom, easy $20, $30 mod for one to two wheel horsepower gain <clears throat> and louder VTEC crossovers for your short ram. Until then. So we're gonna start the car and see what it sounds like. Give it a nice, uh, a few little revs right next to the intakes just to see uh, the difference of what it sounds like. Master cylinder and the uh, clutch master cylinder for the fluids. Pretty cool. I'm gonna install these now. Get this open. Check that out. Domo. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you don't know, now you know. Pretty cool. It's gonna give a nice look to brake master cylinder. Oh yeah, Domo. Check that out. Huh? Pretty cool. Install the other one. Also, check out what I got. I got a new uh, oil cap filter, oil cap 
cover for the valve cover. It's had the uh, black uh, original uh, oil cap cover. I got me one of these. 1320 oil cap cover for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks after like around 35 to 40 bucks after shipping, taxes, and fees. <clears throat> I'd say it's gonna make the, the uh, valve cover look a little bit more shinier, right? <clears throat> let's go ahead and install this thing. See what it looks like. Oh, let's see the size difference. Obviously, the the OEM has a bigger, uh, it's a bigger size. This is going to be much smaller. 1320 uh, oil caps much smaller than the OEM oil cap. So, if you just look closely, it's a little bit uh, smaller, but it's going to make it look better, I guess. Let's see how it looks. See if I like it. Let's see. Not bad at all. Let's see how it looks now. Wow. I guess it does look pretty decent compared to the OEM. I'm gonna see if I, if the look's gonna grow on me. See if I like it or not. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. Doesn't look too bad actually. bad at all. So yeah, I highly recommend 1320 uh, performance parts. They're, they're a pretty decent company for performance upgrades or any little thing. Any little uh, performance upgrade, whether it be the headers or uh, they make just about everything for Honda's they're widely, uh, they have a bunch of different parts. Very good company. So if you want, check out 1320 Performance Parts. They're, these guys got some pretty good parts for budgeted prices. Not too expensive. Decently priced and get good quality, more or less. And made in USA, California. Looks pretty good. <laughs>10 grams more heavier than a skunk 2 shift knob so uh, part number for blocks shift knob is BX AC 00211 size speed shift knob <clears throat> it's about 450 I think grams or 440 grams either 450 grams or 440 grams Compared to Skunk 2, Skunk 2 is either 440 or 430 grams. So this is slightly 10 grams uh, heavier than the Skunk 2. And it's a very great uh, shift knob. It looks good. I like it too. It's like a rainbow finish, like a titanium finish. 
Right, we're gonna install that. We have an OEM shift knob currently. I really like the OEM shift knob, but I'm gonna see how this how this feels as far as shift knob installs. And that'll be and that'll be like five things we did as far as installs for today. Five or six things. Not so bad. <laughs> so let's get it started. Let's get this started. Alright. Wow, that looks cool. Nice. I like it. Let me take this damn thing out. There we go. Wow, how cool is that? That's pretty damn cool. Put some just a brightness on this damn thing. So we went from a blocks shift uh, from an OEM, which is also a very good shift knob. I I also recommend the OEM Civic SI shift knob. So they're great shift knobs. Don't throw them out. Don't sell them. Keep them. They're great shift knobs. So I'm definitely not going to sell the OEM shift knob. So definitely keeping it. But wow, look at this. Now, this is nice. It's got some weight on it. Wow. I'm definitely going to compare and do like a little small review on it. But wow. Incredible, nice rainbow uh, finish or titanium finish. Beautiful color too. Wow, I'm glad I got this shift knob. You can get it for like 40 or 50 bucks. This gun too is like 65 to 70 bucks for a shift knob. So, oh my gosh. I tell you, shift knob makes all the difference. I promise. Oh yeah, it just goes into gear differently. It's got more weight now, more pull. Wow, let me go tighten this damn thing up. And yeah, let's go do a little drive. See how it works with the shift knob. All right, shout out to Blocks. You guys make some cool shift knobs. <laughs> so just to give you an example, what the LEDs look like, more or less, and it's not even nighttime yet. Check that out. It's not even nighttime yet. When it's nighttime, you'll definitely be able to see it way better. Not a bad upgrade. I'm glad I got the uh, LED kit. I actually like it. <laughs> 